Want to achieve financial freedom? Be careful in how you use credit cards. A credit card can be your best friend when it comes to your financial health. Or it could be your worst enemy, depending on how you're using it. Are you using credit cards to take advantage of their loyalty program? Or are you paying them monthly interest? Who is winning in this capitalist game of the 21st century? Is it your bank or is it you? Are you making money of them or are they making money of you? Let's find out. Why do banks have a credit card scheme? Their goal is to make money of you, not to make your dreams come true. Banks make money from interest fees on the amount credit cards users cannot pay each month. On annual fees, users need to pay to use some types of credit cards. On processor fees to the merchant, on penalty fees, and on others. As you can see, it's a lucrative business for a bank to issue credit cards. There is a number of people defaulting on their credit card bills each month worldwide. According to this article, Americans paid an estimated $133.1 billion in credit card interest and fees to banks, credit unions and finance companies in 2022. This was a 23.1% or $25 billion increase from an estimated $108.1 billion in 2021. According to another article, Americans have $986 billion of credit card debt. The same article says that in December 2022, the national average card debt among cardholders with unpaid balance was $7,279. That's huge. And with an interest rate of about 20% on credit cards, that makes it difficult for people to get out of debt. If you're watching this video, I hope you never let yourself get there. Do not carry over unpaid balances each month. They are eating up your capacity to save. Quick pause. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe as it helps the channel. Perks you get from credit cards and how they hook you in. Some credit cards offer loyalty programs. Make payments with the credit card. Earn reward points for every dollar you spend. Then redeem those points for products like home appliances, gift cards, or cash back on your credit card on the credit card's reward store. Some offer one-time sign-up bonus for new card holders. It normally goes like this. Spend a certain amount, example, $3,000 in the first three months of opening the account to get a sign-up bonus of 180,000 reward points and $150 cash back. These credit card companies are even incentivizing you to spend. Maybe you wouldn't normally spend $3,000 in three months on a credit card, but now you might be tempted to, to get the reward points and cash back. Other cards give you cash back on purchases. Use the card and get 1% of your purchases rebated in the form of cash back. For the travel lovers out there, some credit cards offer airport lounges access frequent flyer miles, and travel insurance to be activated on your next trip. As you can see, credit card companies use their smarts and marketing to get you to become a user and incentivize you to spend money to earn what they call rewards. But do not be lured in their schemes that may end up destroying your financial well-being and your goal to reach financial freedom why you should avoid credit card interest if you want to reach financial freedom. If you are not paying your credit card in full every single month, you are accumulating debt. Credit cards have one of the highest interest rates. If you are paying credit card interest, that's money you're losing and could be saving and investing instead. Credit card debt is one debt you do not want to pay. You'll never reach financial freedom if you are paying credit card debt every single month. Make sure you're paying your credit card bill in full every single month. Some credit cards that allow you to collect and accumulate reward points also have an annual fee that you may not realize you're paying. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into if you're planning to get a credit card. How I use credit cards without incurring 
monthly interest. I have a credit card, but I live well below my means. Any payments I need to make, I make using the credit card so I can accumulate loyalty points. Once I have enough points, those can usually be redeemed for home appliances, gift card, or cash back on the credit card on their reward store. Each of these items normally have a different redemption value. Example, for the same amount of points, I could redeem a $100 supermarket gift card or get $75 cash back paid to my credit card. I normally opt for the supermarket gift card. My credit card also has an annual fee. However, I've worked out that for the amount of payments I put on my credit card, the annual fee is less than what I can get in terms of cash back from its rewards program. When it comes to paying my credit card back, I make sure I pay the full amount back each month as I refuse to pay interest on it. As mentioned before, credit cards have one of the highest interest rates. Each dollar that goes into paying credit card interest is one less dollar I'm putting towards my savings and investments so they can work for me. What to do if you have credit card debt? Make sure you pay it off as soon as possible so you stop paying high interest rates. Once again, these interests are eating up what you could be saving without you realizing it. If I'm going to use a credit card, this is how I'd use it. I'd pay off my balance every month in full. I'd use the card for needs, not wants. I'd never skip a payment. I'd use a card with a rewards program and make all my payments with it wherever possible. I'd always make sure the monthly amount I'm spending on the credit card is way less than the credit limit provided to me on that card. Use credit cards wisely. Make sure you never pay monthly interest and remain steadfast on your way to financial freedom. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe as it helps the channel. And until next time, my friend, take care.